The fear of being buried alive has been present through all of human history. Prior to modern science, the moment of death was uncertain, and the mechanisms used to determine one's passing were fallible. And so, sometimes, people might be buried alive. The fear of premature burial hit a fever pitch in the mid-1800s, when a disease called consumption caused so many to meet a slow, agonizing end. Sometimes so slow that they seem to linger on with only the faintest of breaths, when nearly no signs of life remained. So common was the problem of premature burials in the age of consumption that a new trend emerged. Bells attached to the wrists of the recently interred hung over their freshly covered graves, ready to ring should the dead stir in their coffins. And soon, this technology was expanded upon with the addition of ventilating systems and speaking tubes, should the not-quite-so-dead wish to call out for help from beneath the earth where they lie. It was the wish of George Corson of Lee, New Hampshire, that his daughter be interred in a grave equipped with six feet of copper tubing and a bell when consumption claimed her young life. So, when Margaret Corson died at 16 years of age, she was buried in the parish cemetery with a string tied around her wrist and a length of copper through the lid of her coffin, should signs of life return to her. The gravedigger at the parish cemetery was used to hearing the ringing of bells. The apparatus, in his opinion, was not only evidence of an overblown fear, it wasn't very well thought out, considering the fact that the wind stirring the bells made their sound constant, and, as such, a very poor indicator of whether or not the dead had actually stirred from their slumber. So, he was used to ignoring the bells. But he never heard a voice call out before. On a cold October afternoon, the gravedigger was making his way past Margaret Corson's resting place when he heard a muffled sob echo through the copper pipe protruding from her grave. And though the breeze swayed gently through the trees, the bell above Margaret's headstone didn't just jingle. It rang. The gravedigger crept closer. Hello, he called out. Help, the voice replied from far beneath the hollowed ground. I'm down here. Please, let me out. Are you Margaret Corson, the gravedigger asked. Yes, she cried. It says here you died in May of 1843. I'm not dead. Please, dig me up. Set me free. The gravedigger cracked his shovel into the earth. Sorry, miss, but it's October of 1850. He poured a shovel full of dirt into the copper tube, plugging it up. Whatever you are down there, you ain't alive no more, and you ain't coming up. <laughs>